see a crazy story? Check this one out right here. Cop follows a black man home, tase him, and breaks his, his leg over a pin. Yeah. Cop follows, tases, and breaks the leg of a man over a pin. Check it out. You're going to see why. This Cop is crazy. followed a guy because of a pin. All right? A pin. A pin um, is probably worth 50 cents. Maybe not even that. Everything else. All right? Tased him. Yep. That happened according to the report. So let's put it up full mass. Georgia. In Georgia, Carrion Bay, Ray, excuse me, says he plans to now sue deputies who follow him to his home. Wait a minute. To his home. He was at his home like the DA was. Follow him to his home, tasered him, broke his leg after accusing him of taking the pen that he used to sign a speeding ticket. He actually pulled over for the police. Signed the speeding ticket. Went home. Still had the pen. Happens all the time. They track him down. Break his leg with millions watching. And the cam footage shows the officer handling Mr. Bray, handing Mr. Bray the traffic citation and handed Mr. Bray a pen to sign. It's a pen yeah. to sign the paper. After Mr. Bray signs the ticket, he keeps the pen, he drives off. The officer is heard yelling at Mr. Bray, give him back his pen. And then he says, that mother, he stole my mother pen. See, that's evidence of state of mind right there. Okay? That's permissible in court. Uh, the officer shouted in the video, the officer alongside Meriwether County Sheriff's deputy followed Mr. Bray. This is a joint operation now. A joint freaking operation. Two, Two jurisdictions. jurisdictions. Sir, was cocaine in the pen? Because in order for you to get this bit out of shape over pen, sir, I have to question everything now. What was in the pen? Hmm? All right, put it up. Well, it's like this. I mean, why was that Why was that cop so, I mean, why was he so infatuated about that pen? Was it a special pen? Was it one of those customized plants? Was it gold plated? Did it have diamonds and sparkles and speckles on the pen? No, it's probably one of those pens that probably cost like 50 cents probably out of the office depot. You get a tool pack of pins, probably yeah, a staple or something like that for like what, two, three dollars like that? Uh, so the officer alongside Mayor Weather County Sheriff's a deputy followed Mr. Bray to his home, met him outside of his home, and officers demanded, not one cop, officers are demanding he give back the pen. Give me my pen or you're going to jail. Wow. The officer tells Mr. Bray. Mr. Bray says, I don't have your pen. Give it to me or I'm going to tase you. The officer says, okay. Oh, now, it is likely the incident was so damn meaningless, he doesn't remember having the pen. Moments later. The officer tasers Mr. Bray with a deputy while a deputy forces him to the ground. Quote, I can't feel my leg, bro, he says. Bray said as the deputy pinned him, to, pinned him down. Mr. Bray was arrested. Mr. Bray was taken into custody. Police charged him with obstruction of justice and taking theft by taking. Wow. It wasn't even theft by taking. If any charges, theft by conversion, but you got to have intent and no intent was there. It's not even theft, but he didn't take nothing. He was handed a pen. Mr. Bray told WSB TV that his leg was broken in two places during the encounter that he still experienced. You know, here's another thing too. It wasn't. It's not like it was a brand spanking new pen, or he just like the like cop probably just bought it and opened up it. It probably is a used pen. I mean, how much do you think a used pen is worth these days? What? Maybe a nickel? Like really? I mean, it's just it's just crazy. People are like, well, it's a principle. It's a principle to hold it. It's a principality over a pen that's probably worth dick shit. I mean, come on, it's crazy like that. I mean, I mean, I remember last summer, I had to go to the bank. I had to cash a check in. Sign it in, put my ID. And yeah, I usually go to the tellers. They got pins, like, they, get, they got, like, a little cup that's got, like, pins in there, like, four or five in there. I sign it in there. I actually put the pin in my pocket, but nobody said nothing like that. You think they're going to scream and bitch and mother, like, hey, give my pin back, bring the pin back, bring the pin back. You think they're going to bitch and my own pin that's probably worth a dime? Fuck no. I mean, it's just crazy, you know. Sometimes we, it's, 
it's something you just forget. Sometimes it's forced to happen. Like something just so meaningless. It's like, oh, okay, no big deal. But it's crazy. But you got, you got people like the thin blue line lovers, like they go around and go have to say back to blue. People, go, hey, it's principle. It's principality. You don't just keep somebody if it's not yours. Like, okay, what if you find it? What if you what if you went down the street? You went to the store and you saw a couple pennies and and, and you know you saw three three pennies a ball of lint and a, and a nickel. You gonna sit there and say, well, that's not yours. You shouldn't pick it up. And you're like, no, we finders keepers, weepers, losers. Experiencing pain nearly five months after the night of that traffic stop. All of this over a pen. You see this, right? Yeah. A pen. A pen. Greenville Police Chief Wayne Frazier said, quote, if you, if he had complied, none of this would have happened. That's a crock of bullshit. Our SOP says verbal, hands on. He could comply, nothing would happen. None of that would happen. Bull freaking shit. When Frazier was asked whether the cop should have tasered Mr. Bray, Frazier said, uh, well, I can't answer that because I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't explain it. Yeah. yeah well, I wasn't the there. You got to laugh at it. It just says, like, well, I can't answer it. I wouldn't know. So I, I, I wouldn't know. So I. I wouldn't know if it was over there. No, nah, motherfucker, you see, what your answer is there to say, you don't taste somebody over a, over a freaking pen or a couple pennies or, or, or something so petty. It's like, what the hell? It's so meaningless. I mean, it's crazy. This is just insane. It is. It's All right, the identities of the officers and the deputy have not been yet released uh, by, uh, by the police. Ms. Bray's attorney um, is going to file a lawsuit this week. So since they play that game, we play this one. Put up the chief again. All right, so until we actually have a release of the people involved, you will be the face of this story until that happens. Yep. All right, that is a rule we have here on Indisputable, sir. That's right. Chief, okay. Chief the buck shots at you. You know good damn well. Yep. Um, those cops should not have done this to that man. No way. No way. You've seen and you have reported on a lot of police misconduct, and you inform us of our rights, okay? This guy... Because you, you look at a story headline like this, you say, got to be something else. But no, because it was some, if it was something else, they would have charged him with something else. There's nothing else. That's what it is. What do you thoughts? Yeah, I mean, unless it's some sort of James Bond pen and it doubles as a gun or it's a $2,000 <laughs> right. diamond encrusted pen. And yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm keeping this. But the fact of the matter is, I mean, never mind, you know, the, the pen. You've talked before about defund the police, and this is another example of defunding the police, because what's going to happen, any legal expert's going to look at this, and Mr. Bray's going to walk away with more money yep. from this department than the entire budget for pens in every police department up and down the U.S. East Coast. That's how much That's money fine. he's going to get out of this. And so, you know, fine, the, the police officer was mad that he, he his, his pen, he gave his pen, and the guy inadvertently didn't give it back. Okay. But the other part about this, which is, again, we get to, you know, the use of force. The courts, it is settled law. Police cannot tase somebody unless that person presents an imminent threat to themselves, to the police officer, to somebody who's standing by. Saying, I don't know where your pen is, is not an imminent exactly. threat. Exactly. Except to the police officers, perhaps his own ego, because now he's lost his pen. Um, this is ridiculous. And I just, you know, shame on this police department. And I hope this uh, police chief takes some sort of action uh, and retrains his officers and gives them plenty of pens and says, don't be beating up on people because you accidentally give away your pen and forget to get it back. Right. That's the last kind of person you need patrolling the streets. Yeah, a pen that's probably worth what? Maybe a dime like that. I mean, it's like this, you know. If, if let's, let, you know, if I, you know, if somebody, if I like had a pen, like, okay, here's a pen right here. Yeah, uh, I like somebody said, hey, can I use your pen to sign something like that? And then actually put it in a pocket. I wouldn't raise this. Like, now, if somebody was to check out my Bluetooth speaker like this right there, yeah, I'll raise hell because it's worth $20. But this pen probably ain't worth, ain't worth jack. Ain't worth nothing. All right, I'm out of here. My job. Peace out.